do I want? Such manners on this one. I want to move to the Caribbean and sail around on a 50-foot yacht. Doesn't that sound extraordinarily pleasant? Hmm? The place where technologies develops hardware and software centered around one thing, spatial animation. Hardware and software solutions aimed at the common production environment. Whether you're trying to create a convincing performance or you have a lot of animation to produce in a short amount of time. We see one of the big challenges in the animation industry is animating the face. It can be very expensive, it can be very time consuming, and it can be really hard. It's been designed basically to enable uh, the artists themselves to do what they do best, whether that's your actors just acting on camera or your animators operating in a package they're already familiar with. Um, the whole, uh, I guess, goal of our tools, of our hardware and our software is to enable artists to produce more with the resources that they currently have. We've had some, uh, you know, extreme examples actually of, of the type of, uh, of volume we've been able to produce and the scalability of, of the solution. I mean, we had one game that we worked on uh, recently where we, we did 160 minutes of animation in five weeks. 160 minutes. I mean, that is a lot. And that's not, you know, we're not talking about low quality, you know, just get it out the door type of stuff. I mean, this was a triple A title that actually won game of the year. Hello, 731. You ride with us again, Marcel? Will you help me? I will try. It'd be my pleasure. The facewear head cams are just about the best way you can capture an actor's performance because it gives them the freedom to move around, look around. They're, they're not constrained into a chair. They're not locked into a rigid spot. They don't have to put markers all over the face. They just put on the head camera and it gives them the freedom to act, look and talk in any direction. It's, uh, it's been basically designed for the actors to be very free. Um, it's a very lightweight camera uh, down on, on a boom arm that um, is very unobtrusive to actors so that you can have multiple actors playing off each other in one single volume which obviously creates a more convincing performance. And in the uh, facewear pipeline, that's your underlying kind of baseline, is that performance. So the more that you can free your actors up to basically do what they do best, uh, you know, you're, you're gonna be in a good place. Facewear Analyzer is the first step in the facewear software package. It's gonna allow you to take the video of a facial performance, whether it's from a static camera or a head camera, and track that video so you have the software seeing exactly how the face is moving. Essentially what, what it's doing is you're marking up a frame of video telling the technology and all the math and algorithms where the face is on each frame of video. You're saying these pixels are the eye pixels, these pixels are the mouth pixels. So if you know where that those pixels are on every frame of video, you know where the rest of the face is. That's what Analyzer is doing. Facewear Retargeter is uh, the final step in the Facewear pipeline, and it's uh, kind of the, the fun part, you know, where, where the animation actually it's applied to the character. It's where you take the data that's come out of Facewear Analyzer, the tracked facial data, and an animator can apply that onto a facial rig. The skilled hand of an artist is going to interpret how that original performance is going to map onto their character. So they take the data that comes out of the uh, IMPD file, and they also have a, you know, extremely accurate facial reference video to work from. Um, there's also, you know, a, a bunch of tools to really manage a team of artists. You know, that's obviously the challenge of facial animation is you may have three or four or ten people working on the same character. So as, as a creative lead, you're going to want the, the um, animation to look like it was produced by one artist. So there's been a, a whole suite of tools designed to essentially um, create a consistent performance every time. Use the same poses, use the same controls in the same manner. You're enabling your team to do so much more work. So you have the option at that point to, you know, maybe your deadlines are shorter, uh, maybe you're able to produce more animation in general, or maybe you just have more time in the end to polish those really key shots. It's hard to take the best approaches to facial animation, combining performance with the keen artistic ability of, of a 3D animator uh, to create one performance on a digital character. The old saying in the industry is, fast, cheap, good, pick two, right? So we've designed this whole pipeline of the hardware and the software systems that we think can help you get all three. It breaks the rules a little bit, but that's how revolutionary we think this stuff is.